All right, so in this video, uh, what we'll see is, I don't want to call it accuracy, but I just want to do a comparison on how each one of these devices measures steps. Uh, I put in a request to our friends at Jawbone so we can get a review unit, so we can do um, a comparison of the Jawbone Up uh, second generation as well. But um, let me just le level set what I did for this uh, comparison. So I uh, spent my day during my normal business, uh, and I wore, it looked like uh, all these different bracelets. Now, I kept the Jawbone, uh, actually not the Jawbone, I'm sorry, the the Fitbit Force in one arm, uh, and then I had my Galaxy Gear and my uh, Nike Fuel Band. I had them on the same arm. It just it just worked out better that way. And I wore it all day, uh, starting from when I, when I got up in the morning to um, you know coming back from work and, and and now doing this video. And what I wanted to do is compare, you know, how accurate or how similar would the readings be? Okay, so let's take a look. So if I look at my fuel band, I actually, I'm sorry, my Fitbit, um, I can go to my steps, and you'll notice right here that it says I have 6,730 6, steps, 6,730. I'm going to go to my Nike fuel band and tap that, 5,352, 6,000, 5,000. There's a difference, obviously, but again, I wore them at the same, uh, you know, in different arms, but I was still wearing them this at, for the same period of time. So now, if I were to compare that to the Samsung Galaxy Gear, uh, 8,500. So 8,000, 6,000, 5,000. So if we put it in order, the fuel band registered steps of 5,352, the Fitbit, registered 6,730 and the Samsung Galaxy Gear registered 8,566. So which one was accurate? <laughs> I really don't know. Uh, I'd probably have to wear another pedometer to try to gauge it, but clearly the different we see a big difference between each one of these and it's like a thousand steps almost each one. So I, I really can't say which one is the most accurate. Uh, I've been using the Samsung Galaxy Gear for uh, for several weeks now, and uh, I do like the, the the display being able to see the time all in once, and you know the watch aspect of it, and some of the things you can do with the phone. Um, but I've uh, I've compared this to the steps on the phone itself because we know that the Galaxy Note 3 has a built-in uh, pedometer software that you can use. But I wasn't able to tell like which one would be the most accurate. The only thing I can say is that all three of them obviously uh, measure steps, but all three of them are different. So I wish I could have a more conclusive uh, video when it came to steps. They all measure the steps. I will tell you one thing that I can easily with the Nike fuel band, I can actually make the steps go up by shaking it and bouncing it. So I have three uh, that 532 there and if I bounce it a couple times, okay, so now I'm, I'm messing up my test. When I come back, Oh, I didn't do it. Let's do it again. I may need to go in a different angle. I know that I can get these numbers up if I wanted to, so I don't know if it's a sensitivity. Let's try it again. Let's see, it went up. If I were to do this with the Fitbit, so let's bring it up. Let's look at our number. 6,730. Let's bounce it a couple times. Let's see if we can get some more, some more data in there. Let's go back didn't change. Okay, so this one is more sensitive and should have had a higher reading. This one didn't change. And we'll look at the Samsung Galaxy Gear, 8,566. Okay, so we're going to pretend that we're, we want to get those numbers up. 8,566. So it seems that these two devices, it's, it's difficult to to fake or to increment your numbers and we can do it one more time just to be safe because I know someone on Facebook or YouTube or G Google Plus is going to say that was not a fair test so I'm going to be doing it again and it looks like it went up did it go up yep let's get that out um, 8,566 we'll do it one more time on this side let's see 
still the same. So it seems that these two, it's difficult, more difficult to fake the actual steps than it is on the Nike Fuel Band. Um, I don't know if that's going to help you make a decision as to which one you're going to go with. Um, obviously, these devices, these are two dedicated devices that are really focused on the uh, activity, um, the motion activity. Uh, the Galaxy Gear is more than just a pedometer. Um, it may be too much for some people. Um, it requires a, uh, a Note 3. Ultimately, they're supporting some of the other devices. So maybe this is not in, in the class that we should be looking at. But if you're looking at these two, at least uh, for my one-day test, I find that the Fitbit um, did have a higher value when it came to steps. And it's also a little bit more difficult to cheat on the Fitbit by tapping it than it is on the Nike Fuel Band. And by the way, uh, for those of you who may be re um, asking, this is the first generation uh, Nike Fuel Band. I'm still waiting for our um, new version. Uh, once that comes in, we'll do this comparison again. So if you have any comments or questions, uh, please leave it on the YouTube channel. And as always, um, please uh, subscribe.